And down. One and two. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. The orchestra is half good of what I heard it is, then it's an exceptional orchestra. So I cannot wait tomorrow. Good morning. Unfortunately, because of labels and because of bad pre-campaigns sometimes, People think that who comes is a tenor who wants to give himself the pleasure or fulfill his caprice of, of conducting. Everybody the same note. Ready? It's like skin in the side. Of course, it, it could sound presumptuous that I say like this, but uh, I think I, um, I can be allowed to pretend to have this feeling because when you stand every, every day in front of a new orchestra and you have every day to fight with this prejudice, and if you win the fight, you have the right of saying that you won the fight. I thought I was going to have a home in Prague. Thank you very much. Very nice words. Very nice words. Thanks okay. so much. Thanks for doing this service. Thank you.
Dokázal byste charakterizovat publikum, pro které vás těší zpívat? If you have the love bag, then the evening it's always very good. Even if artistically you can have an incident, that's normal. We are all human. But if there's intense uh, love affair between the stage and the audience, then the evening is always a success. Když jsme v divadle a povídáme si o něm, řekněte, najde se něco, co v době příprav představení nedokážete tolerovat, co jednoduše odmítáte? I, I am very patient when I see people working hard and I can wait for as long as necessary for a result. But when I see somebody who is not professional being arrogant, then it's, it's something I cannot take. So that's the only, my only condition when I do my job is to be surrounded by professionals. People who think very quick, take conclusions and act very quick. Věříte v osud, v nevyhnutelné předurčení nebo spíš ve vlastní schopnosti a práci? Both. There is a fate probably. But um, but the problem with fate is that it's dangerous because when you think that fate will do it for you, then you sit down and you wait. And it doesn't work like that. Fate is to be in the desert and dying of thirst and then having probably three drops of rain but having a glass to gather them, then it's good. But if you don't have the glass, you lose the drops. So fate is the drops, but the glass is your work. Těšila se, až se s vámi setká, teď se hrozně stydí. Září. Nesundorma number two million and thirty hundred.
Rádi tě po roce zase vidíme. What is the rest of you? No, mám krásného chlapečka. A jak se daří tobě? Have you pictures? Přinesla, mrkneme na ně později. Ano, Gabrielu a Krištofa. A ty stále tři? Jsou tady s tebou? Určitě, máme se skvěle. Tak pojedeme? Last year in Czechy was was very special. Those two concerts were very beautiful. The public was so lovely, and and uh, the 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 communion between stage and audience was so beautiful that the concerts were very special. Mm -hmm. So I hope we are going to have the same uh, the same experience with Pagliacci. Myslíš, že tě někdy uslyšíme v české opeře, zpívané v češtině? Kvůli jazyku? Ale tvůj dvořák nebyl špatný. A pamatuješ si ještě nějaká slova? No. I only remember that this is something like that. Ale pár českých slovíček znáš nebo ne? I know the bad ones of course because they are necessary for some moments, but I cannot say in the camera. Pořád hodně pracuješ, učíš se, studuješ nové role. Baví tě to bezvýhradně nebo občas cítíš únavu a třeba i vyčerpání z těch věčných povinností a úkolů? It's not if you're a movie actor, you do one film, you leave it, then you do another film, you leave it. And even if the routine of filming is the same, the character is the same, the plot, the argument is, the, is, is not the same. So mm. it's, it's different. So that keeps you really going. But in opera, you do one million Pagliacci's and Otello's and Samson and Carmen and again and again. And that is very difficult when it comes to to keep your your mind fresh. This case is different because the place is so unusual mm. that um, even if the opera is the same old opera, um, this all this entourage is so different that um, that we have fresh air. Čili prostředí kolegové, co dál ovlivní inscenaci? Of course, everything, as I said, uh, the the fact of having this 360 degrees acting makes the whole thing different. Mm. Uh, uh, Joseph proved that he he make a uh, he made a, um, a staging that is open, very wide. That's why this time we are using microphones here. It's not usual to use microphones here, but the acoustic is it's not perfect, but it's more or less good. But in this case, for, for example, I start the opera from there, mm. and I'm coming singing from more or less from where that tree is in, in, in the end of the garden, and it's impossible to do that without microphones. <laughs> Pagliacci in this magic place, in this revolving theater, is a magic experience and it's a really, for me, it's the first time I am, I am working in a theater where 
is not me who runs around the public, but the public who turns around us. And in that sense, it's a very cinematographic experience because the theater is moving and following us like a, like a camera, which I think it's, it's also very interesting for the public. Pagliacci is, for, for every artist, is a little biographic, okay? It's not completely biographic in my sense because I, I, I don't drink, I don't, I don't uh, uh, have a wife that goes with a younger tenor, for example, but, um, or at least not that I know, but um, it is biographic in the sense that um, Pagliacci, the drama of Pagliacci, it is not in the fact of his problems, his couple problems with his wife. The drama of Pagliacci is in the second half of the opera when Canio says, look at me, but do not look at my mask. Look at the man behind the mask. Look at the person, look at the human being. Don't look at the clown, don't look at the star. Just look at me as a human being. And that is the secret and the, the number one issue of Pagliacci, which I think is good for everybody to know. When you look at a star, when you look at a famous person, you have to remember always that behind that uh, facade behind that sometimes um, media image, there is a human being that loves, suffers like everybody else. That's the drama of Pagliacci. Pagliacci is, it's a real human plot. The story of a guy who was somebody and who at the end of his life, getting old and uh, losing his power, he is not somebody anymore. And he, little, he slowly and little by little feels that society is looking somewhere else. It doesn't matter if you're an actor, like like Canio in Pagliacci is, or if you're a politician, or if you're a sports player, or if you are a, a top model, or things like that. It's very difficult when you get to the end of your life, if you were a public person, to say, okay, thank you very much, it was nice, goodbye. Mm. Finito. And finito. Mm. Many people um, cannot resist the pressure of the system and then the sadness of knowing that you are not anymore what you used to be. Nestrácíš se občas v tom potemnělém neznámém prostoru? No, well, no, getting lost is not a big problem. The big problem could be sometimes to put your feet on some dog presence. <laughs> Uh, so you have to be careful when you walk around and that you don't put your feet on some... <laughs> I will not become so pathetic at the end of my life. <laughs> I, I am very lucky because I have a great family and, and uh, really to keep your head in place, you know, you have two kids, you have, a, you have a husband. When you go back home and you see your kids, they put you in the proper dimension mm. and everything else is okay, it's the job. But the real thing is the family. Mm -hmm. So as long as, as I'm so lucky to have this great family, I don't think I will get in such a danger. I mean, it's just okay, one day probably I will say thank you, it was beautiful, see you in, in paradise or in inferno, I don't know. How are you feeling? 
Mohl bys mi říct, jak se cítíš, když se ti ve zpěvu opravdu daří? Dá se to nějak popsat, vyjádřit? Ty pocity, které máš v těle i v duši. Promiň, že se ptám, ale mě by to zajímalo. No tak ne. To jo, vždy ve střehu. My professional credo, my life credo. It's a phrase from um, Oscar Wilde that says, "Be yourself, because everybody else is already taken." <laughs> And that, for me, is one of the best descriptions of how an artist has to be. One of the big problems of society, it has always been a big problem, but now is an enormous problem, problem thanks to internet, is that everybody is imitating everybody. Mm. People are starting to imitate what is more or less successful, because in that way they think that they will also be successful. And then you become a repetition. Uh, imitation. An imitation. People are so afraid of physical communication that they flirt through the computer. How, you, how can you flirt with a computer? I mean, hey, what about the smells? What about the, the look in the eyes? What about finding out if I like the way you move, the way you breathe, the way you... What? What's, what's going on? It's great to have computers, but we don't have to lose the human touch. That's why classic art is so great, because it's probably one of the last possibilities we have, like sports or ballet, in having the man directly in front of another man without any net, no protection. It's just me, the music, and you. And sweating and suffering, and if I get it right, I get it right, and if I get it wrong, you will understand that I'm also a human being. Thank you very much, I love you, bye. <laughs> no, no technical trick in the middle. That's why we don't have to lose classic art, classic art in general. When you are in front of people, just like that. Being what they call a star, which for me is a very stupid word, because star is very far away from the earth, and they are not in the ground. But okay, just to make everybody understand. If you only live on the start side and you forget or you don't use the chance that by being a star you have people that come to ask you things. You will not be speaking with me if not. Probably I would have never met you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you will not be with the camera there if not. You are here because of who I am as in the business, not because of who I am as a person. And it's okay, is the rules of the game. Ale já jsem se těšila i na člověka jménem Jose Cura. Okay, but that's another thing because now you know. But but before you just came because the TV said to you you have to go and interview Cura. Stop. And that's okay. And we were embarrassed. But it's the part of the business. Can you imagine? Did you miss the moment when we were embarrassed? That's part of the business. But the other part is that because I'm so lucky that you come and ask me things. If I lose the chance of transmitting my ideas and my credo and my way of seeing the world, then I'm losing a big chance. The responsibility of being a public person is very big because a lot of people, okay, there's a lot of people that doesn't like you and that's okay, that's part of the rule of the game. But there's a lot of people that really likes you and that use you as a mirror for many things. What we were talking before, 
which could be good or could be bad. But one thing is true. If you're an example for young people or for other people, then you have to be a good example. And if not, it's better you're not in front of the camera. And that's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now you have for a documentary of three hours. Thank you. <laughs> good. Don't you want some water? Uh, probably.